Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Monster Hunter. So you can see I'm playing Monster Hunter World on my Steam Deck and it's on desktop mode. I'm on desktop mode because I've got this mod installed. It's the Hunter Pi V2. And you can see this mod gives you overlays on the screen so I can see the health of the monster. This great dragon's got 1% left of health. So it's going to die soon. But yeah, that's basically uh, what this mod does. And it's not easy to install on the Steam Deck. This was actually requested by one of my viewers. He couldn't get it installed because you need a .NET um, desktop runtime. Six point something. And also, uh, I think you need something else. So I'll show you how I got it to install. Alright, let me just kill it. Alright, I think it's almost dead. So 0.2%. Yep, that's it. So I killed it. So yeah, that's the uh, mod in action. So let me just quit this. Let me just quit it. Okay, I don't need to save. All right, this is the Hunter Pie app, and you can do settings for your. So it works for both uh, Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter World. All right, so let me do configuration for Monster Hunter World. The overlay. So you got the you can have different widgets. So the monster widget shows you the monsters like health, the status, and all that. Yeah, you can turn these widgets on and off in the settings. All right, that's basically what you you can do. So let me just quit out of it, and let me show you how it's done. Okay, so to install the Hunter Pi V2 mod onto your Steam Deck, first you go to the the Nexus Mods page. All right, I'll leave a link in the description. Go to this one, Hunter Pi V2, Overlay and Rich Presence. Go to Files, Manual Download, and you need this, all right? So .NET Desktop Runtime 6.0, just click on it. It'll bring you to the download page and it'll automatically download here, okay? That's one thing you need to download. And another thing you need to download is the mod itself. So go to here and then slow download and this will download that file. All right, so while you're downloading that, also go to your Discover store and type Proton, all right, in the search and you should come up with these two. The first one is Proton Up QT with the green arrow up. Install this and also install Proton Tricks. This is the wine glass, all right? So install these both. All right, so I think my download's done. Go to your downloads folder, all right? And for the Hunter Pi, the zip file, unzip it. So I'm gonna extract it here, the auto detect subfolder. You can, you can install it anywhere, like unzip it anywhere you want. I'm just putting it in my downloads folder. So it's here with the hunter.exe, all right? So that's done. And then, and then for the runtime, the Windows desktop runtime, because you've got Proton Tricks installed, all right, go to your Steam, select the game, so Monster Hunter World, and then I'm going to go to its properties. I'm going to go to compatibility, and I'm going to force the Proton to Proton Experimental, okay? So make sure you select it to Proton Experimental. Then I'm going to install the Windows Desktop Runtime. So double-click the EXE, and I'm just going to click Execute. All right, because I have Proton Tricks, it loads up automatically. And then I'm just going to select it onto my game with uh, Monster Hunter World. So double click the name of the game and let it install. Okay, so just install it. All right, so installation was successful. Close it. Close it. And then make sure you have Steam Tinker Launch. So go back to your Steam. And then go to its properties, compatibility. I'm going to select Steam Tinker Launch here, all right? So if you don't have this, if you don't have Steam Tinker Launch, go to Proton Up QT that you just downloaded. Launch it. Okay, and make sure Install For is selected on Steam. And then Add Version. And then Compatibility Tool. Select Steam Tinker Launch. And the latest version as of now is version 12.12. 12. 
and click install all right i already have it so i'm not going to install it again it's here and then you can close out of it if you still can't see it here you probably need to restart steam all right just restart steam and it'll kick in and you should be able to see steam tinker launch okay all right so once that's all that's done now you can play the game and you should launch steam tinker launch you need to launch um steam tinker launch and get into its um settings all right so you have a two second window to click the main menu button all right so just wait for it it's going to pop up right here all right the camera's in the way but you need to click that main menu button on the bottom uh right near the bottom right where my camera is all right so you've got a two second window to click that and see the main menu is opened up now then you go into its game menu here click this game menu All right, and once you're in the game menu, make sure you select use custom command, you check it, so it's checked, and then here, fork custom command, also checked. And then custom command, select your custom, uh, your, your hunterpy.exe. So I put it in my downloads, if you remember, my downloads folder, and then hunterpy folder, and inside there is the hunterpy.exe. So select that, all right, and then go down a little bit, there's a place where it says uh, which Proton version you're going to use. I'm going to use Proton Experimental. So select Proton Experimental because that's where I installed my uh, Windows desktop runtime, 6 point something. All right. I installed it on uh, the Proton Experimental. That's why I'm selecting Experimental here as well. All right. And then you're basically done. So let's click Save and Play and see if it works. So next time when you launch it, you don't have to go into the settings again. You just play and let it run and it should automatically load. All right, you can see that the game's loaded. All right, and Hunter Pi is loading. Okay, that's, so that's good. Okay, uh, there's a new, okay, so there's a new version. So I'm just going to download it. Okay, you can see the overlays are popping up. Okay, but here's the problem, all right? Because if I if I click on the game, you see the overlays go away because uh, the the hunter pie needs to be like active. So go to the settings. Okay, make sure you uh, set for the correct game. This works for Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter World. So since I'm playing World, I'm going to set the settings for World. And then go to Overlay. Uh, not this one, sorry. The Client. All right, go to Client. And then I'm going to select this Minimize to System Tray. So I'm going to toggle it off and then back on. Okay. I think that's a good way to do it. And then I'm going to quit out of it and restart the whole thing. Because it doesn't automatically minimize for some reason. So let me do it again. It should automatically uh, minimize. And make sure you just don't press like the full screen for the game because you won't be able to see the. You won't be able to see the overlay. So now Steam Tinker Launch is doing its thing. Just don't need to do anything right now. Just let it load. It'll load both the game and the mod, Hunter Pi V2. All right. So you can see I'm not doing anything right now. All right. And then Hunter Pi is loading. It should load up and then automatically minimize itself. You see that? See how it's minimized? Yeah, and yeah, that's how you play. And then make sure you just don't like use your mouse and click the click the game. Because when you do, uh the hunter pie will go to its background and you won't be able to see the overlay. 
that this is how I play for desktop mode. This is like a workaround. That's why it doesn't work on gaming mode. Because when you're in gaming mode, like, you don't focus on that window. You can see that the overlays are here. So let me just go into a quest real quick. Okay. Okay, so when I go into the quest, the information loads up. You see the information for the monsters and all that will load up. Yeah. So that's how you do it. So that's how I got this to work on my Steam Deck. But it only works for desktop mode. So keep a note of that. And I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.